It's Mega March and you deserve a treat. Luckily, Hobby Link Japan has you covered. Use code MEGAMARCH, no space, at checkout to get 5% off your order. Limit one use per person, and it's good all month long. Thanks again to Hobby Link Japan for working with us, and now, on to the show. Let's jack into Mega March! Yeah, baby! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final episode of Mega March 2023. My name is Coleman X, and today, the same way we began, the same way we shall end, I am joined with Shadow Rock ZX. And boy, did we pick a great <laughs> one to end off with. How are you all doing? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. It's been a pleasure. This has been really fun this month. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad it was fun. But um, we are on the probably the most controversial pick for any of these episodes. It is mm -hmm. Zero.exe. Oh, Zero, but in the Battle Network universe. Oh. oh he's an X-Series character. It makes him cool. Yeah, one of only the few of the X-Series characters that actually got a, like a Net Navi representation. I think it's literally just Zero, Colonel, and Iris. That's only three that I know of. Yeah, that's, that's all I remember myself. There's definitely no X. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, hey. Alright, um, <clears throat> uh, let's uh, let's jump into it. Alrighty. He's got a robot face. That's the most controversial part, yeah. <laughs> let's just, let's just, uh, let's just get into that. If, if, if this were just a design and I didn't have zero to compare it to I think it's pretty pretty cool because it looks like scary and different like it looks last boss you know what I mean yeah so for context this guy is from network transmission and hey remember the zero virus from the X series I do well it's also a thing in network transmission uh, and this guy is the culprit uh, just by existing, he's spreading this virus around that's making all the net navvies go haywire and go berserk and all that stuff. Basically oh. going maverick in a way. <laughs> oh, okay. Time to take you out. Okay, I got it. Yep, so like the whole goal is like to find out where the Zero virus is coming from and eventually meet up with Zero EXE and you find out, uh, actually, he's not such a bad guy. Uh, he's just been cursed with this virus and you know it's a shame we gotta take you out and all that but <laughs> oh man that's sad it, it, that's the only <laughs> game he's in right just the gamecube game yeah that's, it, this is the only game he's in huh man that that's that's a shame because I, I never got that far so i never i never knew what his story was but oh that sucks he's like a reluctant bad guy yeah pretty much uh, you know, I'll leave you to play the game yourself to see what his fate ends up being. But, yeah. Okay. Man. But, uh, okay. He, the, he, he, it's, it's just taking the zero design and just taking some elements and pushing them, like, all the way up. Like, his, his head mm -hmm. horns are, like, way out there. Yeah. And that, like I said, on its own, it's kind of cool. He reminds me a lot of, like, if Maverick Zero was a robot. Like, an actual... Yeah, like a robot robot. robot. <laughs> Not just an android. <laughs> yeah. And I, I like... One thing I legitimately really like about this design is that it's, like, clearly in, like, adult proportions. You know, like, Mega Man and Roll and the rest of them, like, they're, like child teenage you know proportions like they're smaller but this guy's like a like a full-grown monster man yeah this guy is seriously super tall even compared to other net navvies he just towers over them <laughs> okay so he like he really does it's not just a not just oh, how yeah. the art's making it look that's cool then again zero like class like the x series zero almost said classic zero uh, <laughs> what he's pretty tall himself. <laughs> right. So it makes sense. 
Y you know what? Um, you know what the helmet really reminds me of? It reminds me of um, Ray from Mighty Number no. Nine. Like it's the exact same design. You know, just in a different shape. It is very similar. It's got the giant gem in the middle. The horns that stick out more to the side. What can I say? Leave it to Inafune to make a character that looks exactly like Zero. <laughs> I'm taking him back. <laughs> this is my character now. <laughs> hey, his, his shoulders really remind me of Punk. You know, it's like bladed red shoulders. I think I think it's kind of punkish. Yeah. For sure. And the saber is more like a rapier, I guess. Yeah, because like like there's a there's like a bit of a of a little spear point that comes out of his arm, and then it forms a blade mm -hmm. around it, I guess. Yep. That's cool. And um, so is is that a cape or is it hair? Like, do do you see it from behind? Like, does it attach to his head? It looks like it does. Uh, it looks like a cape, but it's actually his hair, I believe. It is his hair. Okay, so it just it just flared out all the way. Okay. Oh yeah. That's cool. All right, we gotta we gotta get to the elephant in the room. They okay. they they took the most defining feature, the titties, and no. instead instead of outwards, they are inwards. <laughs> they are inverted. No, he's a flat board. How could they do this? <laughs> My beautiful wife. Why? No. What have they done to you, Zero? <laughs> Never it's mind the head. He's <laughs> got inverted nipples. No. <laughs> oh, man, but I do like how his upper chest, it looks like a jacket, like with a really tall collar. Yeah, it just looks like an armor. Yeah, he he look like he looks like a Dracula. You know, like like he's he's robot Dracula. He's kind of like uh like a sentai character. Yeah. All suited up. Yeah. Henshin Zero, I get it. Okay. Yeah. I, I like how um instead of like the lines down the side of the legs like Mega Man has, like it's more like separated pants with like a I don't know, it's it's like they're like like combat pants sort of with the side mm -hmm. thingies. Yeah. Instead of the underpants, it's just like uh military pants. There you go. It, it, it's underpants that go all the way down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks nice, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks really nice. Like, like, like I said, on on its own, I think I think this is a actually a pretty good design, the more that I'm looking at it. I agree. It, but but a, as a as Zero, it's like, mm. it's like... Is this really Zero? But at the same time, man, this guy looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly right. Oh man, we need to we need to hue shift him and get Nightmare Zero EXE. If Zero was a Gundam, this is it. <laughs> there you go. We figured it out. We got it. <laughs> but now, dude, I I love that the whole what would be the white part of Zero's head is like the whole thing is the gem. That's pretty cool. That's a that's a good touch. Yeah, it's almost like you can see the entire globe in yeah. that gem right there. <laughs> Man, he, I really like the the shape of his um his sword arm. It's uh it's it's like an hourglass sort of, but like edgy. Yeah. D does he have any other weapons, or is it just this uh this sword here? It's just the sword. Uh, he okay. he has like the gem move and all that. A zero's move set. Mm -hmm. It's very similar. Man, honestly, surprised this guy's not in dive yet. They they like their zeros, but That's I mean true. X one zero's not in dive yet either. So, eh, never mind. X one zero could have been a skin easily, but yeah, lately skins don't exist in that game. They have to be full fledged characters. I liked skins. I know, right? Me too. But um, I I I don't know. I I do. I wonder if other people kind of feel the same way we do about how it's a cool design. On its own. I know I keep going back to that, but that's just that's just how I feel. I think I think it looks really cool if I completely divorce it from what it's inspired by. Most of the reactions I see online for Zero EXE is that 
Oh, he ain't my zero. Uh huh. He's such a weird design. That's what I often see. Why does he look like a bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, Although, at least they kept you. the zero virus aspect yeah. of him. And the, it makes it makes a lot of sense in this you know this series. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, network transmission it takes place between one and two, right? Yes. So, are any events from that game ever brought up in the main series? It's like, wow, this this is like that time the Zero Virus, or or is it just kind of one of those things that you as a player knows about but no one ever talks about? Yeah, it's the latter. <laughs> ah. It's never really brought up again until, like, uh, the Japanese version of Bound Number 6 only. Oh. Because they, they cut out the U.S. version, but... There is extra areas in the Japanese version that they cut, and uh -huh. one of the, one of them is Graveyard Area One, where you have these tombstones that, uh, on inscribed in those tombstones is the names of net navvies from across the series, and there is actually one dedicated to network transmission. It lists the early EXE on there. Interesting. Why would they cut that out? Because Boktai Three didn't come out in the U.S. And one of those areas they cut is related to a Boktai specific event. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's lame. It is lame. But thankfully, in the Legacy Collection, they confirmed that we're getting the Japanese version of EXE6, but translated into English. Yeah. So that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be that's gonna be confusing for people who don't even know that network transmission's a thing. Like, what? I didn't see zero. Yeah, I think that's, like I did some videos on network transmission in the past, and yeah, a lot of people saw it probably because they never seen network transmission before until that point. Mm -hmm. It's one of those very not like the most niche game out there, but for Battle Network, it's relatively niche. Yeah, like especially if you're just a Battle Network fan because it plays you know more classicy than yeah. Battle Networky. Yeah, you know, it combines you know the battle chip action of the Battle Network series with the classic gameplay. I remember it being pretty fun. I'll have to revisit it someday. Yeah, like it's not a perfect game. I, I would have loved to see a sequel that kind of uh, expands on it more, but for what it is, I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And of course, the soundtrack is top tier. One of the best Mega Man OSTs, period. Oh, you heard it here. Yeah. Take a listen sometime. It, it, if I remember, it's going to be playing in the background of this video. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a surprising lack of like yellow on the armor. There's no yellow at all. Just That's the true. eyes and the hair, which is you know you think of Zero, he's got like the yellow trim, and there's no Z on him. It kind of looks like there's a W in his helmet. That just might be how the shine is on this, this particular image. Almost looks like a W, but I'm probably imagining that. And in a lot of ways, he also takes after Proto Man EXE, which people mm -hmm. argue that Proto Man EXE is the real zero of the yeah, series. Yeah, that, that, that's what I wanted to mention. Like before we started this, I'm like, I gotta remember to bring up Proto Man because yeah, when, <laughs> when I when I think of a zero design, like it's definitely I go to Proto Man first. Because he's got the mm -hmm. hair, you know, he's always seen with the sword. Yeah. I mean, this guy, you know, he's got the he's got the titties and the pointies. Yeah. He's trying. Because the way you think about it, you don't need an XEXE because Mega Man EXE himself is literally based on human DNA. He's supposed to be more like humans than other net navvies, so he is mm. X in that sense. He's more yeah. X than Mega Man, sort of. Yeah, and then you have Proto Man, which is basically Zero, but he adopted the Proto Man name. He's got silver locks. <laughs> and then after that, they're just like, oh, let's just make Zero EXE anyways. <laughs> oh, Why well. not? Okay. Thanks, Inafune. Yeah, I mean, at, le <laughs> at least they didn't just reskin Proto Man. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> Like he's Proto Man, but he's blonde now. Wow! 
They could have totally done that too, considering it's the internet. You could just copy and paste oh, and yeah. clones pretty easily. I pushed the print screen button. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> But no, mm. the, the, this guy's fine. Stop giving him crap. He looks, yeah, he looks no, fine. He's trying. Like, he may not be the Zero we all know and love, but he's still a pretty cool looking Zero. Mm hmm. He's, uh, I mean, now he's just. He's, um, the inspiration for Ray, so that's kind of cool. It's like a, it's like a weird. Like, it's like, it's like drip feeding, you know? It's like Zero, mm -hmm. Zero EXE. You know? And with the whole zero virus aspect, uh, he is more similar to Ray in many ways than you may, may think. Oh, well, there you go. I never played the, the Ray DLC. I need to go back to that. Yeah, Ray is messed up, to say it lightly. Welcome to Mighty Number March. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your April Fool's series. There we go. <laughs> mighty, mighty April or something. Maple Fool. Uh, uh, uh. We'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. Last year I did Mighty News on April 1st. Oh yeah, I saw that. And I still learned some stuff. I was like, you know what, this is informative. I'm happy. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean, there's a couple segments in there that's just, all, it's just completely a joke. But then there's some actual news in there. So That's how you gotta do it. Yeah, even though it's an April Fool's joke, it's not like everything is a lie. No, right. I actually try to be factual for most of it. <laughs> mm hmm It's pretty funny. Because uh, some people are like, oh, man, I thought the whole video was a joke. You mean Gunvolt 3 is real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that, that's, uh, that's advice to everyone out there. Always search for the... the kernels of truth and include them exactly <laughs> uh, but um yeah i guess that's gonna do it for um this mega march it has been a wild ride and it has been fantastic it has been fun i got to have a lot of buddies on with me and um shadow rock you were probably the like probably the biggest contributor <laughs> to all this and uh just thank you so much for being a part of it Always happy to help. Like I said, Bow Network is... Uh, it's not my top Mega Man series, but it's definitely a close second. So I'm super happy to share my love with the series with you all. And um, I, again, am looking forward to experiencing the actual series. Like, especially after this whole month. Like, I'm I'm just, I'm just, to I'm totally, like, hyped and buzzed. I just need to, need to jump in and see what it's all about. I'm really happy to see what I've missed all these years. Oh man, I am actually jealous because I would love to play all the games for the first time again. It was oh, such a yeah. special time and I, I, I'm jealous for you, buddy. I really hope you enjoy it. Oh, thank you. I will I will do my best. Like, like um, I, I, know the, I know the first one's a little bit rough, but, mm -hmm. it, you know, go, going in knowing that it's, you know, going to help a lot. It's like, okay, you know, you got to, you got to get past... You know, Mega Man 1 before you can play Mega Man 2, you know what I mean? Actually, on that topic, I did put out a video recently, oh, back in January, as we're recording <laughs> this. Uh, but I put out a video talking about, like, what Bound Over games you should play, which ones you maybe you should skip if you're not feeling it. And the ones that you should be worried about is BN1 and BN4. But even with being one, there's Operate Shooting Star. That's a better experience overall, just because of the quality of life improvements. So you could do that always before mm -hmm. you play the Legacy Collection. But yeah, check out the video. I know people will say they've already said, "Oh, all the games are worth playing." What are you talking about? But, <laughs> you know, not not all the games are created equal, so it's yeah. worth just taking a look if you're new. I saw that and it was like a really good roadmap. I'm like, okay, you know, like I'm I'm still determined to see the whole story, but I I really appreciate that because you know I I do the same thing with like the X series when people are are new to it. I'm like, okay, here's what to expect, you know. Yeah, exactly. My video is just like what 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 you should expect for each game, really. Mm -hmm. 
But um, yeah, it's I'm I'm completely jazzed. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a long a long road because we're gonna be, you know, streaming all of it, and I don't know how long these games are. So, but it's it's gonna be fun. I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy, buddy. Oh, Have a good one. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty exe excellent. Nice, nice. Well, I hope everyone <laughs> has a exe excellent um, April and beyond. Now that Mega March is coming to an end, um, thank you all mm -hmm. for being a part of it. Got about two weeks to go till Battle Network Legacy Collection. Let's go! Let's go! Just hang in there. Get your pre-orders in. There's still time. Yeah. Uh, you make sure you get the Hub Style and Dark Mega Man DLCs. I'm looking forward to that. I, re I really like the look of Dark Mega Man, so I'm, I'm looking forward to just having having that guy talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yes. Thank you all for coming. Um, thank you to Shadowrock and every other guest that has been a part of this. Um, there will be more in the actual outro. But, um, yes, yeah, just thank you all. It's been, a, it's been an amazing month. This has made me super hyped for Battle Network and... It's going to be great. This is going to be a fun year. So uh, thank you all, and we'll see you when we see you. See you later. Rock on. And just like that, Mega March is over. I hope you enjoyed the ride. We had a lot of fun making it. Another huge thanks to all the guests that were on this year. Maria, Shadowrock ZX, Twitch from Reploid Revo, Protodude, Spring Queen, and Rockman HQ. You all really made this year what it was. I'd also like to thank every channel member from this month. Silby, Dano, Asterisk, Dornar, Droopy, Spring Queen, Masterman, Biometal C, Como Bungus, Zarda, Neeps, Jedi Saiyajin, Human Blaze the Cat, I Am Nick, Queedy Bob, Gunvolt ZX, Roll Chan, Thunder Warrior ZX, Seta, Eugene42181, Twitch from Reploid Revo, LML123, Glitch Hunting Gamer, Daunted X, and Hyper Defective. Another thank you to everyone that submitted art. And finally, thank you to everyone watching. Thanks for another amazing year. That's not all for the channel, so stick around for more fun videos, streams, and rambles. See you then.